He didn't publicly say why, but there was one friend's plotline Matthew Perry shot down before it ever got made. It involved Chandler, a male strip club, and sandwiches. Don't worry, we'll explain. In the wake of Perry's untimely and tragic death, many people are sharing their favorite memories and moments from his performance as Chandler Bing in the long-running beloved sitcom Friends. Over the course of 10 seasons and 236 episodes that people have watched and rewatched and rewatched again, there is so much material to choose from. Whether it's the sly, sarcastic one-liners that would fill the space of uncomfortable silence, or the large-scale physical gags that he was equally adept at, of course there are also the tender moments that people remember from his relationship with Courtney Cox's Monica. There is one particular element of Chandler's character you will not see people reminiscing about, though. Whenever a show lasts as long as Friends did, there will inevitably be storylines from the show that the audience doesn't like, and there will be just as many, if not more, that the actors themselves weren't crazy about. In the case of Perry, one Season 7 B-plot for Chandler was so mystifying and problematic to the actor that he asked to have it removed entirely from an episode, never to be heard from again. Not only was it a smart decision on Perry's part, as he could see that was not in keeping with the neurotic Chandler's persona, it also helped the show avoid a subject that the series never did deal with in a particularly sensitive way, in many cases was outright boneheaded about it. And it all starts with a male strip club. Chandler barely appears in the Friends Season 7 episode, the one with Joey's award. He doesn't show up until the final third of the episode, where he and Monica discuss their perceived fears about knowing that they will be spending the rest of their lives together. There are really no story beats for him to play out in the episode. However, that was not the case when the one with Joey's award was first written. As spotted by a Friends fan on Reddit, the episode's synopsis on Netflix describes a non-existent B-plot in which Ross spots Chandler leaving a male strip club. Perry revealed the reason for this on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in 2017. There was a story he rejected and that the writers agreed to get rid of. They had an idea that Chandler would be a patron of a male strip club for the simple fact that he loves the sandwiches they serve there. The joke is pretty clear. Food is not the primary reason to go to an establishment where men take their clothes off. Plus, Chandler is a heterosexual man. The actor did not give specifics as to why he was not a fan of the idea, just that he didn't want to do it. I called up and I said, let's not do this one. <laughs> one would like to believe he understood that it would make no sense for the anxiety-ridden, often homophobic Chandler to make his way into a male strip club, let alone stay to try out the sandwiches. However, it also would not be surprising if this massively famous person on a blockbuster sitcom wasn't crazy about wading in murky sexuality waters that the early 2000s were not kind to in the slightest. It was probably a mixture of both. The period in which Friends was airing was a boom time for gay panic jokes, and Friends indulged in them quite a bit. After all, the show featured heterosexual, cisgender, neurotic white people in New York City, a rare place where people are more comfortable to live a little more freely than they could in most of the United States. For a show so focused on the romantic lives of its main characters, the heterosexuality of all the male friends was tied to their perceived manliness. Joey, that bag is gonna get you that part. And a date with a man. <laughs> Four episodes after the proposed male strip club story, there was the one with Chandler's dad. In this episode, we learn that the title is slightly incorrect, as his parent is actually a transgender woman, played by Kathleen Turner, and works as a drag performer under the name Helena Handbasket. While he does begrudgingly invite her to his and Monica's wedding, there is still quite a lot of resentment and anger directed towards her, and of course the show doesn't really understand that the character is transgender. It would not be surprising if Matthew Perry knew this story beat was coming in the near future, and thought the writers were relying too much on juxtaposing the nervy Chandler with queer culture for cheap laughs. It's as if the writers wanted to pack all of this stuff in before the season's finale with his and Monica's wedding, after which they might not feel as comfortable putting Chandler in these situations. The strip club story never came back, and that was probably a good decision.